You can stop now. That is a long sentence. Paragraph. <laughs> okay, then. I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. What happened to my Xenon? Just kidding, this is my parts play field. I'm at my storage unit and thought I'd check out what additional parts I have for my Xenon project. I've got a little bit of gold wings action over there, volley action over there. So, got me some parts and um, look what I found. You know how on mine, I was missing this post, and uh, this post is all bent up. Well, I found three of them. One was here, one was here. Actually, look at that. Oh, no. Yeah, that's where I got one. That's where I got another. And then right in between the flippers is where I got the third one. So I got three posts to choose from, except I was kind of bashing on the bottom of the post to smash it through the play field because it was really tight and now the nut doesn't really want to fit on there as well. So I kind of mushed the butt end of this post a little bit. I think I can just file it down a thread and uh, rescue it. Should be fine, but I knew when I was bashing I probably shouldn't have been. Anyway, look at the condition of this play field. It's typical xenon. Someone tried to paint in the red. Um, but that Looks like about it. Oh, a little bit more here. Um, if I was going hard top, I could have just started with this play field, right? It's pretty much all the work was done for me. Uh, the other thing I was looking for was this plate in here, but that's gone. I was going to replace mine. Oh, and also look. I've got a couple extra rollovers if I need. These buttons. Okay, that's good to know. There's the uh, Kimmick post. And I talked about in a previous video. Uh, yeah, so there's even a couple plastics if I needed. A little bit of hardware for the xenon tube. Uh, and, you know, some parts on the back side, of course, as well. But not too much. But I definitely uh, can scavenge some stuff off here if needed. So... Uh, back to the Xenon project. Um, they got me some parts, so I'll see you guys in the basement. Okay, back in the basement. Let's grab my posts out of my pocket. There's two of them. Got one more somewhere in here. There we go. Between those three posts, I should be able to fix the two that is all bent to crap one and this one that was missing. So there we go, that problem is solved. Oh, and um, before I left my uh, my storage there, it's our rental property, I was throwing something out in the trash and I found something interesting. You know, um, Mark and City, a buddy of mine, he made a pinball machine from scratch called The Nightmare Before Christmas. And um, I saw this in the trash and immediately had to rescue. Mr. Jack Skellington. Check him out. I am so going to offer that up to Mark. I don't see why he wouldn't want it. If he doesn't want it, it's freaking cool. I'll just keep him myself. But And it's got a little switch and a button right up here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, did you hear that? He's trying to talk. There's the speaker. So, maybe we need to stick some batteries in them. Let's see if we can fix this guy up and then, uh, okay, you can, you can stop now. That is a long sentence, paragraph. <laughs> okay then. Okay, so, the plan for tonight is to clean this play field more. Get rid of all the brown gunk. This is my last cloth here. I'm starting to get into some paint, as you can see, some a little bit of red, and I don't know if that's black ink or what, but the red could be the red touch-ups that they did too, so not really sure. Anyway, more playfield cleaning. 
I'll get under the apron and all the uh, the other areas I didn't do. Well, I kind of did it once over on this, so I'm getting close to finishing finishing cleaning the play field. That's goal number one. But before I do that, I want to do something a little more fun because I've been cleaning the play field for hours. It feels like I'm going to. Uh, deal with these posts. Uh, obviously the wood is very um, mushed in, so I think my strategy is to put, it might not be all that pretty, but a sizable washer there. Hmm. I don't know, how am I gonna deal with that? But that is what I gotta deal with, this mushy friggin' wood. I'll try and get this post to actually sit uh, vertical and this one probably shouldn't be so bad. So I'm gonna do that first. We'll see how this goes. All right, I got the post installed. I used a larger washer because I needed the surface area and I actually found one that was kind of black. So kind of blends in there. It's not so bad and it's pretty darn straight. It was hard to get it perfectly straight up and down, but I put another big washer on the underside, tighten the living daylights out of it um, maybe too much. Might have squished the washer into the play field a little bit, but that is what it is. And this one went smooth because there was no wood damage. Um, so that guy is good to go. Lock washer and, well, lock nut on the other side and a washer. So that's done. So now, back to play field cleaning. Yay. Okay, this video has taken place over the course of several days, so I kind of forgot where I left off. But, so, in terms of the Xenon tube for, you know, the lighting tube, light PCB for Xenon tube, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, there's a few ways I could go about it. Buy a new one, buy some bulbs, incandescent bulbs to replace the burnt out ones, or buy all LEDs, add a diode. There's a good write-up on that. A vids guides on pin side tells you how to change all these to LEDs for like 51 cents plus shipping. Um, I went to my local electronics store and boom, 2181 bulbs. He had them in stock. Cost me $9 plus tax. I actually literally need only one, but I bought the 10 pack. So I am going to change out the one burnt out bulb. So that was pretty sweet. This electronic store is like four blocks from my house. It's perfect. So this is the one that's burnt out. And this one is a little bit black. Mm, I think the rest are okay for the most part, but this one is a little toastier than the other. So I might just do these two, or maybe just do this one and keep the spares with the machine in case any other one burns out. I wonder if, um, what's going on there? Is that just a loose trace? What if it was just a loose trace all along and I needed to spend zero dollars? Could have saved myself nine bucks. Oh shit, oh well, okay. Here we go. On to the next thing. This is the clear coat I used on six million dollar man and i did a little bit of a couple spots on uh space invaders but a it's got a uh it's called clear finish right none at the bottom warm amber finish so it's clear warm amber i was thinking clear was like no color that didn't actually matter. It didn't. You couldn't even tell anything. But it's a little bit, you know, it's satin, and it's a little. It was a little more dull than the finish on the Space Invaders. So I went and bought. It's this is basically the same stuff, just different label. And uh, this is crystal clear, non-yellowing, interior water-based semi-gloss. So. What I'm going to do is do a sample of this on like maybe this monster bash play field or maybe this, um, what's this game called again? 
solar ride because it's more to the vintage. Do a test area and then, ouch, see uh, how this holds up. Uh, make sure it doesn't scratch off. And then I can do some touch-ups on this guy. Oh, did you notice? Anyway, I, I can do some touch-ups on this guy and then clear coat it with this. And that is the plan. But also, remember this guy? He was uh, having some troubles, so I yoinked out the batteries. They're the little button battery, like LM44s or something. I'm totally butchering that. But I checked. They're 1.5 volts, supposed to be. I pulled them out, tested them with the multimeter. They were 1.5 volts. So I made sure they were in correctly. And I pressed the button once and it worked. Let's see if it works again. Oh. You failed. It worked for one sentence. Let's try again. Mm. Okay then. So I was all excited because I thought I had him working. He said something like, we have to figure out what this Christmas thing is all about, or something like that. Anyway, uh, he uh, is not speaking the language I can comprehend. <laughs> this one episode has taken like probably a week, which is not the usual shenanigans method. But it's just summer out and I uh, haven't found myself in the basement for too long. A uh, little here and a little there. Uh, I can really see this blue now. They must have used some oil-based paint or something, because I, you know, rub this playfield down pretty hard, and none of those touch-ups came up. Just all the crud. So, have a close look here. I am going to take <clears throat> ink to a playfield. No, paper to pen? No, paint to playfield. That's what I'm going to do. Some paint markers and whatever else I need, acrylic paints. That's the majority of the wear. I guess there's a bit there. There's a bit there. So, um, I'm going to do a hard top maybe one day, but not today. But yeah, so one last look here. I'm going to put lots of lipstick on this pig and pretty it up best I can and then I'll clear coat it and uh, yeah I think it'll be tolerable but it won't be no high-end hardtop beauty queen sorry for all those who voted hardtop I know many of you would have liked to seen that and maybe one day I will take on that challenge and uh, see if I can pull it off which yeah should be able to without too many shenanigans, but yeah, Bruno. All right, time to get to work. All right, don't get your hopes up. Um, I've spent an hour or two or something over the last couple days, yesterday and today, just kind of slowly piecing things together. So it's looking a little better, but man, still got a long ways to go. But uh, that's a little sneak preview of my progress thus far. All right, I'm certainly making a mess with everything here. Trying a little bit of color matching. A uh, little bit more progress. I don't know, maybe another half an hour or something. Uh, do -do -do -do. Filling in colors, filling in colors. Trying to rebuild her face and her neck necklace or whatever you call that. That uh, was missing on the right. Um, yeah, so <laughs> she's getting reassembled slowly. But uh, yeah, still a little, lot more work to do. All right, I think I'm going to put down my paints and my paint markers finally. Um, for what it is, I think I'm satisfied with the results. Her face is back on and her lips. I'm not going to do any more on her lips. There's definitely more that should be done. Like a little bit of teeth in there, but 
it looks good right now if I add anything I may just screw it right up so kind of tidied up some of the letters in here and zine on here I don't think I'm gonna write bonus over there because again I could screw that up although now I kind of want to attempt that uh, tidied up all these inserts in that area that's much better I didn't really spend too much effort over in this zone I do see a little bit of insert stuff I could continue on and a little bit of wear there but I think I did all these pretty much all these guys and again this bright white is previous owners touch up so someone did spend a good amount of time touching it up clearing it with something that didn't work and then it wore right back down again so hopefully the clear coat that I apply holds up a little better I decided to leave this area and this area alone that is just too much art for me to try and replicate in an area that's hardly visible or even noticeable like from here where you're playing curb appeal right here has been improved we're standing here looking at that it ain't so bad so hey I think I can live with that so I'll clear coat this up and um, and then uh, oh, I did order uh, some blue posts and some orange skirts and I was gonna just order three then I realized oh yeah it's a fourth pop bumper and I did order translucent blue flipper bats so I think it looked pretty dandy after that um, the only thing I can really screw up is my clear coat the rest should be pretty straightforward so hopefully that goes okay I will do a test run on another play field and uh, make sure it doesn't scratch off or I don't know do anything funky but yep there it is okay it took me like a week to do that one episode um, but uh, hey there it is Xenon coming along thanks for watching bonus footage I decided to write in the word bonus after all and it didn't go so horrible and I even decided to do these four inserts up here, which actually did really make it look a lot better. So I'm happy with that.